So this is an introduction to the status of European women brought to you by Alyssa Shiner. Okay, so as you can imagine, the social status of European women was not one to be admired. They were economically dependent on their husbands, and they were legally inferior. Additionally, they were, there were three main issues that perturbed the women of this time period, which were property rights, education, and family law. Property rights were pretty simple. Women couldn't own property simple. Upon marriage, their husbands owned all the property. And because private property and wage earning were the basis of European society, this put women at a great disadvantage not being able to own their own property. Now the second thing, sorry I said education a second, second thing was the family law. Women were expected to be obedient to their husbands um, and divorce, if initiated by the husband, was particularly easier than if initiated by the woman. Adultery, being the um, usual cause of divorce, was very much a double standard. For instance, it, women had to prove that their husband not only cheated on them, but many other offenses, as opposed to the husband only had to prove that the woman cheated on him. Now, the third thing, and final, not final, but the third thing in this discussion would be women's education, which was also something not really to be desired. They, although women could get educated, um, their education was often limited and inferior to the males. Um, although women could take examinations at Cambridge and Oxford, they couldn't get degrees. Now, that aside, despite all of this, there were still some amazing women who really impacted their society. For instance, we have Olympe de Gauge, who was a French playwright, political activist, and early feminist. She wrote the Declaration of the Rights of Women and of the Female Citizen. And basically what she did was she demanded that French women be given the same rights as French men. French women, same rights as French men. Um, another important woman was Mary Wollstonecraft. She was an English author and she was an early feminist. She wrote A Vindication of the Rights of Women in 1792 and that argued that women are not naturally inferior to men. They only appear to be inferior because of the lack of education. Um, not only men wrote about, uh, sorry, not only women wrote about m their position, but men wrote about them as well. Uh, one notable man was John Stuart Mill, who um, was an English reformer, essayist, and influential utilitarian. He wrote The Subjugation of Women with his wife. He wrote the, the book. Um, which opposed the social and legal inequalities imposed on women and also argued that inequalities were a relic from the past and a hindrance to human development. Um, another man um, who was very important in this time was Heinrich Ibsen, who was a Norwegian playwright and a social critic, Hero A Doll's House in 1879, which, criticizes, which criticized conventional marriage roles. So that was a small introduction to the <laughs> status of women during this time period. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and come back for more lectures if you so desire. All right, goodbye.